So what happened to your tire? Uh, it was hungry for wood. <laughs> it, became a beaver. it got wood in between the uh, bead surface and the wheel. Where did that happen? Uh, up that hill climb, that last one, on the first attempt. And uh, we made it back to camp with it, but we got to scrape that wood out. Try to get the tire to seal back up. I would really love to help you, but I can't because it's just too much for you. Just too much for you. I know. Uh, we got to drop off the mountain here in the next 10 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to pick up another Land Rover, I believe, and another video guy. Um, let's just see what today brings. I think it's going to be wet. We heard a loud pop at some point when we were climbing out at the end of the day yesterday. The U-bolts underneath are are loosening up, and uh, we found a pretty loose um, plate yesterday, and so we figured that every morning we need to be checking and dialing in these U-bolts to make sure that they stay tight and um, to avoid further catastrophe. So I am formatting cards. Why do you got to do that? Why? Yeah. So we don't waste two and a half seconds formatting them on the trail. <laughs> so we'll have them ready to go. It's literally like a two second process. So today is usually the endurance day of VOT. So it's a long route that goes up north and then peaks out in the town of Washington, which is some very difficult terrain and challenging terrain, not as difficult as it was yesterday. Um, we're gonna be abridging that slightly because we're getting a late start, plus we're doing a lot of videoing. But these guys are the video team for Vermont Overland. And they do the Roads Less Traveled video series, and they are awesome. The Vermont Overland LR3, which is a really capable truck, but You'll see this in all the video series. It's almost like a character now. It's part of this bridging between between the off-road and sort of overlanding world and the um, cycling world. So it's, it's, it's involving athletics into the overlanding scene, which you'd be amazed at how many people are part of that crossover. What are you What are you kicking? Kicking Rin's tea bag. He's been tea bagging all day. So today we got an awesome day ahead of us. We've got some challenge, it's kind of muddy, rutted challenge coming up. We're going to go over Mount Hunger here in Barnard. And then we're going to come down to Stockbridge, which actually was a town that was completely isolated during the Hurricane Irene several years ago. They, they completely, like all of the roads were washed out and the only way to get into Stockbridge were, were class four roads. So whenever anybody says these class four roads are not important, I always point to Stockbridge. And then uh, we're gonna end up, we're gonna make an impromptu stop at I think, which, which is one of the best up and coming nano breweries, craft breweries in the state, Bent Hill up in Braintree. So awesome day ahead of us guys. Sounds good. Do you want to look at this? He's going to spread that out of you. <laughs> Let's go over here. I, it's not going to let you go left. Don't be bashful about getting out and looking Like that's... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no sense in not... Yeah, I mean, you'd either have to put it into the bushes. Yep, or just... Or just... Go wide like and You just got to send it. <laughs> what do you think, Rachel? Looks pretty do doable, easy. I'm not sure what what line they took, 
to make them get in the position that they were in. <laughs> So it looks pretty simple, but then again, that's where pretty mistakes stage. happen is when you think it's simple and then you go for it and then you get stuck. So I have a pretty good idea of how it's laid out and I'm going to send it. That's what winning looks like. Man. That is what <laughs> winning looks like. There you go. Stay with it. Woo! Nice. Stay with it. Just waiting for some guys to winch in the back and uh, watching Send It Larry on YouTube because we got some rare coverage up here in the hills of Vermont. I think I can send that on the old Super Twin, no problem. It's, it's, that's kind of the theme of the day. So yeah, we're on a, we're on a really muddy track. It's amazingly wet in Vermont right now, and it's like usually. I mean, we're just about in June. I mean, this is the time when stuff gets almost dry, um, and and you have issues with dust, not 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 wet but this is almost like mud season weather the roads are still in good shape they're just draining a lot of water off them so no problem no environmental issues or anything like that but it's still it's just it's just wet all the time it's still a great time of year to be out so we've had this long winter and we're dying to get out on the trails and so this is the time of year we always do it memorial day weekend is prime it's awesome matt is stuck up on the hill and ren's here and we're going to try to winch off the back Ooh. And let's check out and see what's going on here. You guys got it under control? I think so. Okay. Maybe. How long was this in the works for? Did they just contact you or? A year. Last a year, year. Oh, yeah. Really? In fact, they wanted me to do season three last year and I just couldn't do it. We had too many yeah. commitments and I was like, I'll tell you what I'll do next year. And that's what we did. So Jason contacted me very early. He said, for sure. He kept checking back. I was like, I'm in. I'm in it. I'm game on. Oh, yeah. I knew yeah, what you were like, I knew oh, when okay. I stopped and Gabby was standing there. I'm like, all right. I mean, it, it gives it such purpose to be videoing and having all these guys with all this equipment. It's like we can show. It's it like, really wow, cool. this is cool, you know. And the people stop and it lends. What I've noticed too is that usually you get the stink eye from people. Like, what are they doing? They're just out having fun. The minute you add a legitimate purpose to it, people are fascinating they're like people who would normally be haters are coming back and they're like wow this is great what are you guys doing and i'm like filming back you know back roads adventure travel in vermont right. that's exactly what we're doing you got it ren trucks they'd be like oh they're just a bunch of guys out drinking on the trail you know they have no idea so this lens is such a completely legitimate thing because they know they've got the signs all over everything and they know this is like wow that's purposeful that's cool so pretty neat so it's kind of cool because you get the diversity of like these really cool small towns exactly. and then these epic 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 trails or they're not even trails they're public roads you know right, exactly. traveling you know those used to be the roads about like how people would get around like, yeah. awesome we'll let you get back to your sound. day hey, yeah. best of luck yeah awesome uh, cheers good to meet you good, good to meet you too good time good to meet you. all right so we will pack up and hit the road um and continue to knock this day out because i'm already anxiously awaiting craft beer and worthy burgers so and i'm wet and muddy you're wet and muddy nice with shorts on the shorts on. <laughs> awesome. We just pulled up weather. We're at a 40% chance of rain kind of throughout the rest of the day, maybe 50%, but tomorrow looks like it's going to be really wet. Oh, yeah.
here on the side of a road in uh, Vermont and uh, this is what Vermont's all about. It is just so beautiful. So where are we Peter? In northeastern Bethel and he has spent a lifetime doing this meditative um, environmental art and you just you can go through here and and kind of drive through very slowly. We're in the middle of the actual road but it's everything's built you know done kind of close to the road and it's, um, the idea is to just be meditative. And, and you look around and it, it, it does it for me. Every time I'm here, it puts me in a state of incredible calm. Bucket by bucket by bucket. He takes the earth from the buckets and he walks them by hand and he stacks them on this mound, which again, he makes artwork out of there. But there's, what, what's so cool about this is that there's an order with it. It's, it's, it's kind of chaos, but at the same time, there's this amazing balance and order with it yeah, because when you're making these cairns, he does this all blindfolded, by the way. He doesn't look at it. He feels feels sort of the energy through it and feels the balance with it. And that, I think that comes through, through and through when you look at the artwork. You just feel this tremendous sense of like, there's chaos, but there's balance in the whole thing. And it's sort of a life metaphor, you know? But you, this was your family's My home. My parents bought it in 1940. Right. Wow. And then uh, when they came back in the mid 1973, so mm -hmm. I've been here. Well, I mean, when I think of the number aspect of it, it's like, whoa, who me? Boggling. You know, is that <laughs> me? 45? Yeah. You know, it's like when I hear old baseball tapes and stuff, oh, yeah, I wonder if he's still playing. Well, no, he's mm -hmm. dead. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you back off into the moment. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm trying to do is, is back off because I'm 71 and I, you know, I don't want to go too fast in that direction, so I'm sort of slowing up in the art. And the process here is slows me down. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, 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 I share it with Theo it. if you get the opportunity. I absolutely will. Point. His dad was a statesman. His dad was like a major statesman in Washington. There's some history there. I can't remember wow. exactly what it was, but his dad was a fairly important dude. There she is. Do you eat poop? Violet eats poop. Do you eat poop? All dogs eat poop. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're at Bent Hill Brewery um, in Braintree, Vermont. And we're just, uh, Peter's really good friends with the brewery. He's actually putting together a new um, tasting room here. So we're going to stop in and uh, check out his spot. Micro, like the microbrew beer scene up in Vermont here, is, it's unbelievable. I don't, I'm not sure there's another state that's pumping out uh, the the most incredible like micro craft uh, like IPAs and just incredible beer. I think everywhere you go in Vermont, there's all these new breweries popping up, and every single one seems to be doing just offering an incredible product. So, including these guys, their beer's amazing. start all this? What, what, how'd you do it? Uh, pretty much it started as a home brewer about eight years ago. Uh, just kind of fell in love with it. I was an engineer prior and uh, just kept brewing every day and uh, every once in a while I just kept getting bigger and bigger equipment and then one day just kind of kind of unfolded on itself. Pretty much all the beer I used to make I gave away. Yeah. So I would come back to Vermont every week. I was living in New Hampshire working as an engineer and I would come back to Vermont every weekend and brew beer. I make a lot of seasonal product that basically utilizes stuff around here. Um, there's one farm that I work with that's about five miles away called Pellbrook Farm. So I do a lot of produce beers, basically starting about June uh, till September. It was actually kind of an amazing discovery. Jason Merrill, one of the owners of Worthy Burger and Worthy Kitchen, two highly celebrated beer restaurants in Vermont. Um, just told me, he's like, you gotta, you gotta go check out this guy, Bent Hill. And we just sort of stopped in and knocked on the door like we did. And that's how it happens, guys. It's little by little, and next thing you know, Bent Hill, we've gotta have Bent Hill, and, and that's already the way I am. So, but now it's so great to see him make a success out of it. So, chapeau to you, man. Yeah, it's thanks, awesome. Man. Awesome.
Uh, he's got it once he gets up here. You think? But he's gonna have to stop if you go to this one. All right, so Ren got hung up on the top of this climb. It got really slimy. So we're just gonna winch him out. Should be okay. We're gonna get Matt up. And as you can see, he's right on the hill. The last two trucks hug this bank pretty hard and it's just getting really slimy. So I think he's going now. House Diner, uh, per recommendation of Peter, so it has. Want me to feed it to you? What? You no. Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. So I'm about to have my first taste of what's called a what is it called again? Vermont Maple Creamy. A Maple Creamy, because everything in Vermont is made of maple syrup. Oh yes. So good. <laughs> um, this this is amazing. And we're I mean, it's... it on a cold rainy day. <laughs> this is incredible. This is, it's it's like soft serve vanilla, but with maple syrup. I love maple syrup. I use maple syrup in my coffee every morning. You can ask my wife. We literally go through hundreds of dollars a you year. You really want me to ask your wife what you put maple syrup on? <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of dollars a year in maple syrup. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding, so. Cheers. See the blue dot? That is where we are. One more class four road, the green. That means easy. And then we're off to 14. And what does that mean? What song will we sing? Booze, 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 Where's Stick? Where is it? Do you know where it is? Is it out there? What do you think your dad's doing? Lotion action. Hey Peter, why do you have lotion in your truck? I told you this, it's because I have very dry skin. Mm -hmm. I've offered you lotion. I've offered you moisturizer most of the day, and you turned it down. Peter, There's nothing I can do for you. You get dry skin. It's not my fault. Peter, yo yo. I don't want your f***ing lotion. Bryn. Yes, sir. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you sure? <laughs> You're ready hard. for the work. Are you worthy? I don't know about that, but I'm hungry. <laughs> I've definitely given beer to like three different people and have them say such different things. Yeah. <laughs> So here we are, we're on day three. The best thing is the prize at the end of the day was coming to none other than the Worthy Burger. Huh? I, like what you guys have, like, a I don't even know what, I'm just gonna give you mountains to everybody. You can have it, we can do the video, and you officially pass the torch right now. Yeah, it's those cameras. The Vermont Overland Whiskey Chocolate Tobacco Bar. We've got a couple of selections here. Um, I'm gonna pull a, it's our normal after dinner fare. So I'm gonna pull a piece of chocolate, right? That's 85% dark chocolate from Farmhouse Chocolate. Okay. And it's incredible. So you're talking about a seriously bitter chocolate. You're talking about like very little sugar, tons of cocoa, a cocoa explosion in your mouth of organic chocolate, local, local extravaganza. So bring up some Mad River bourbon. Okay. You said it's a Land Rover series. This is the series truck Land Rover fuel filter sediment bowl. Nice. These are available, widely available from any Land Rover parts dealer. And that's what we, we, we drink our, our whiskey out of. And legitimately like super thick, thick glass. Oh, like. yeah. Chocolate, prepare the palate. 
You're gonna have a, you're gonna have a Nat Sherman, New York City Nat Sherman. Well, I don't know if I can smoke a cigar. Fine cigarillo. <laughs> no, just little cigarillos, dude. It's like <laughs> sampling. That's all oh, it is. Wow. There's one wow. left. Okay. Have it. I have yet to have any takers on the Ridge Line Barrel A's Vermont Whiskey. That's very good. Appalachian Gap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. We've not had that yet. Yeah, cheers. Did we do that yet? Mm -hmm. no. No. This is where this is where the magic happens. There's a lot of tech going on here. We go through the highlights and it gives Jason an idea of what's really valuable by our reaction at the moment and right. you just have fun just have a good time he is right here have a good time and um like you said like peter said i mean give everybody an opportunity to see what the day looked like and see what they want to do differently tomorrow or see where they can learn from opportunities where they maybe made mistakes from the previous day um everything works right or just share funny stories and videos of uh peter and and john actually having a good time recording themselves in the land river today. so um john lotion lotion <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about. Why are you staring at me? Uh, your sentiment. Oh, part. I thought you were looking at my <laughs> 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 He's recruiting for lotion. <laughs> lotion. <laughs> lotion. Lotion. He's going down a weird road, guys. <laughs>